Hello guys, welcome back to Solar Motion VFX. The previous tutorial we made on Blaze AI was uh, the Shooter AI, setting up a Shooter AI, a simple one. So uh, check that out if you want to see how to do a Shooter AI. Today we'll be looking at creating a melee AI. So uh, we're not going to go through all the, the settings as before because you need to check that out. But it's pretty simple. And again, as always, remember to check out the docs. Okay. So again, here I have my zo low poly zombie character. He has a weapon in his hands. I linked it to his hand bone here, and it's just a bat. First, we're going to do to this bat. Let's create a box collider. Make sure it has a good size here. Just on the end, we want to enable it when it hits. Okay, and let's make it a trigger, like so. Let's go again and set up quickly the Blaze AI component. And as uh, previous before, what I do is uh, I go in and adjust his uh, capsule collider first. I think that's pretty good. Then while we had the vision tab, let's also just click on the player, enemy, whatever you want him to, to, to detect. Hostile, player, and, and hostile tags as before, who you want him to attack. Let's add in the player. We don't need any uh, alert text right now. Then we'll go back to the general tab. And if we click on audio here, we have this enemy audio scriptable created. You can just right click, create, and make a Blaze AI, and then audio scriptable, and then insert your audio files inside the scriptable. So right now, let's drag this over here. We don't want to create any manual waypoints. We just want them to rogue around uh, randomizing. And that's why we have this randomize enable on, and then you have your radius here set as well. You can, of course, lower that. That's with the spear you're seeing. Cool. Let's go to the states and add behaviors. As before, normal state, alert, attack state will be enabled here. And also go to the hit, add that as well. Now let's add in the animations. So on the animator controller, I just added in these different uh, animations here, walking, running, uh, walk bats, attack melee, and def. So let's uh, go to the def. Copy the names in as before, put it in, control V, nothing else here. Let's go to the idle, because uh, we will put the idle a few places, the same idle animation. So collapse this, let's look at the normal state, add in a idle here, idle look around, go to the alert, put in the same, you can of course have multiple uh, different uh, idle animations um, or different ones as well but uh, attack general let's see idle as well that should cover them we're not going to be using cover or going <coughs> surprise state behavior in this one now let's go to the walk forward zombie again then go to the uh, normal normal behavior first and under the move animation control v put that in and I don't only want him to be his walking at the move speed 1. Let's go to the alert. Walking again. 1. Attack state. And here it's important that your movement here should not be walk. But actually when it's attacking it should be running. So run forward melee. This one. Let's uh, see where do we have that. General. And then move anim. Control V. We set the move speed to free. Five is too fast for my liking. Attack melee. Go to the attack. And control C zombie. And let's add attack state here. Put it in here. And next to duration one and a transition point thirty-five. As so. So let's go to the hit state behavior. And we have this get heavy hit back and zombie and let's get one of the hit animation here duration point 25 so cool so one thing you'll notice is that he's pretty high compared to my player here so he would have a hard time actually detecting so we can go back to the blaze ai and then uh, let's see here vision another normal the cone angle here let's actually just bump that up so he will detect him just like if he was in attack mode okay 
and also let's see here go back to the attack state behavior and attack distance so we can leave that at one for now but uh, let's see enable the attack in intervals and make him attack more fast and rapidly like so so let's check it out we should have a walking uh, ai now and also he should be able to detect us and attack us yep he's definitely detecting us he's coming through us and let's see if he's gonna yeah but uh, he's too close so we'll go back to the attack state here and so attack distance would say 2.2.3 that would be the attack distance okay and let's also change this to the animation to point 0.25 like so and that's the duration from the current animation till the next one to the attack melee so if he's uh, walking towards us uh, or running then he will take 0 0.25 seconds to transition into the attack mode okay now let's go into his uh, attack animation here so approximately on frame 9 I would say so if we say frame 9 approximately here let's go in and add an uh, animation event and uh, we can just call it bad bad hit okay so I made a few changes I went into the attack state behavior on the attack I just changed the distance to 1.8 so of course you need to tweak the settings for your liking and how it uh, depending on your own game. So I ended up by saying the 1.8 and then on the actual attack here itself I made an animation, animation event where it says a uh, bad hit. That means I will go in and enable my box, uh, my, my trigger box collider on, my, on the actual bat and then I've, on frame 13 or so I'll go in and actually say a no hit public void means I'm gonna disable the bat again on the bat itself I made a box collider as before trigger then as in the previous control with the shooter I had a V object damage this is because in my use case I'm using uh, Invictus uh, third person shooter and it comes with an object damage so this is a way to damage my player and uh, what I do is I just set the collision method to on trigger and set the tag and layer to collide to player like so and actually I need to, to show you the little simple script go into the zombie i'm just made a little script called zombie bat hit here and basically what i'm doing is i'm just adding a, my box collider i'm getting that and then on a voice start what i'm doing is i'm setting it to false i don't want it to be enabled and then i'm calling these two public mail from the animation event on bat hit it's gonna enable it and then on no hit it's gonna disable it okay pretty simple so let's see what's gonna happen here let's see oh there he is and there yep I'm getting damage okay guys that's it for this tutorial thank you very much write in the comment if you wanted to see something specific this was just uh, to show you that uh, we have set up a shooter AI in the previous one and a melee in this one it's pretty simple but you do need to be able to uh, make some simple changes uh, and coding uh, in order to make you uh, players get attacked and deal damage and so on Everything is covered in the documentation, how you can add a health component to the uh, to the enemy, but you need to code it how you actually want to deal the code, how you want to subtract uh, the health when you hit it and how you hit it. So in this case, we're using box colliders with a trigger just on and off. And if you're shooting, then you need to have, make sure that uh, your shooting script is also dealing damage to the, to the enemy and also how your player gets damaged, okay? So, but again, as said before, this is one of the best AI assets I ever tried. So uh, you won't be disappointed and the, the developer keeps updating the asset and there's a really good community in there on the Discord as well. People are really nice and helping each other. So uh, please join the party. See you on the next one. Bye.